Hi. So here in this question, we have uh, let a be greater than zero, and a, or rather, a is greater than zero, x is greater than a, and hundred is greater than or equal to x. All are equalities, and f of x is mod of x minus a plus mod of x minus hundred plus mod of x minus a minus fifty. Then the maximum value of f x becomes hundred when a is equal to what? So for what value of x? Or so rather, for what value of a is the maximum value of f x hundred? Okay, so let's first simplify this uh, expression here given these conditions. Now, since <coughs> x is greater than or equal to a, that means mod of x minus a can be written as simply a, right? And similarly, since hundred is greater than x or x is less than hundred, then Mod of x minus hundred will be written as minus of x minus hundred, which is hundred minus x. So this becomes hundred minus x, and this is x minus a. Okay. And here we don't know the value of a, so we'll just keep this part as it is, right? So f of x becomes x minus a plus hundred minus x plus mod of x minus a minus fifty. So x minus x cancels out. We have hundred minus a. Plus mod of x minus a minus fifty. This is the value of f x. Now the best way to solve this question is by using options and seeing for which value of a the maximum value of f x will be hundred. So let's start with option a, which is zero. So if a is zero, f of x becomes hundred minus zero plus x minus zero minus fifty. So this becomes hundred plus mod of x minus fifty. Now let's see: Is the maximum value of this function 100, or it can be greater than 100, or it can be less than 100? What all values can it take? Let's see. So now x has to be greater than a, which is 0, and less than equal to 100. So x can be between 0 and 100. Any value equality is also true. So if we put x equals to 0 over here, so we'll have mod of minus 50, and mod of minus 50 becomes plus 50. So f x becomes 100 plus 50, which is 150. Right? So the maximum value of f x is not hundred if a is zero. It can be more than hundred. Hence, this case is rejected. Okay. Coming to the next option, when a is twenty-five. So if a is twenty-five, we have hundred minus twenty-five is seventy-five plus mod of x minus twenty-five minus fifty is minus seventy-five. So we have seventy-five plus mod of x minus seventy-five, and now x. Since a is twenty-five, x can take any value from twenty-five to hundred. Okay. Now again, taking x equals to twenty-five, if you put x equals to twenty-five here, we get mod of twenty-five minus seventy-five is minus fifty. Mod of minus fifty becomes plus fifty. Since this becomes fifty, and this is seventy-five, so again f of x comes out to be greater than hundred. Since f x becomes greater than hundred for x equals to twenty five, the maximum value of f x is not hundred; it's more than hundred. Hence, this case is also rejected. Coming to the third option, option C, when x is or a is fifty. Now, if a is fifty, we have hundred minus fifty is fifty, and this becomes fifty minus fifty, which is minus hundred. So, x minus hundred. This is what we have. Now, if you we know a is fifty. Now, if you take x equals to 50 here, this becomes 50 minus 100 is minus 50. Minus 50 uh, mod of minus 50 becomes plus 50, so 50 plus 50 is 100. So, when a is 50, the value of f x comes out to be 100. What if a is 100? If a is 100, this becomes zero. So, as you keep increasing x, when x was 50, the value of this whole expression is 50. As you keep increasing x till hundred, the value of this expression will decrease. So, if value of this expression will decrease, overall value of f x will decrease. Hence, the maximum value of f x was when x was equal to a, which is fifty, and that maximum value was hundred. Hence, in this case. f x is always less than equal to 100 that means the maximum value of f x is 100 and this is the case that we require for a equals to 50 the maximum value of f x is 100 hence option c is the right answer let's just check for option d as well if a is 100 this expression becomes 100 minus 100 zero 
plus mod of x minus 100 minus 50. So this becomes this thing. Now since x is or a is 100, x has to be greater than or equal to 100, less than or equal to 100. So there is only one value that x can take that is 100 and if you put x equals to 100, f of x comes out to be 50. So there is only one value of fx 50 which is not 100. So the maximum value of fx is not 100 in this case either. So this case is also rejected. Option A, B and D are rejected. Only option C is acceptable answer. Hence the correct answer here is option C. Thank you.